What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I am partnering up with Sinful Colors to bring you guys five different nail art designs that are perfect for this transition between spring and summer or really any time that you're feeling like having a little bit of brightness on your nails. These designs are super beginner friendly. You don't need a special amount of skill to be able to achieve them. A few of them you actually don't even need any tools for and the best part about them is they're all really customizable so you can kind of pick and choose your color scheme or whatever you're in the mood for and these designs will work perfectly. So let's just go ahead and get started with the first design. This is a no tools nail art look. So for this look, I am using the Sinful Colors base coat, the Sinful Colors nail polishes in Snow Me White, Wonder Mint, YOLO Yellow, great name by the way, and Endless Blue. And then I'm gonna to be topping everything off with the Sinful Shine top coat. So I'm gonna start off with my clean natural nail like I normally do, and I'm going to apply my base coat. This is going to protect my natural nail from any staining, and it's also gonna keep the manicure lasting. Once that is dry, I'm gonna go in with a couple of coats of my white nail polish as the base for this nail art design. I do find that white works the best for this design, but you could also use another light coat color. So we're going to use the bottle brush for this design, but what I want to do is I'm going to try to wipe off pretty much all of the polish onto the neck of the bottle. And then when there's barely anything left, like you can really hardly tell there's anything left, I'm going to just start swiping it on my nails. So I'm going to go up and down. I'm going to go side to side. And basically what I'm going to do is create this sort of like grungy brush stroke kind of look. And the fun thing about this design is every nail ends up looking totally different. I'm going to end up doing this with three colors, but you can stop at one or two or three or even four if you want to get crazy. And you can also layer these so you can do as many coats of these as you want. For me, I find my magic number is either two or three colors on top. So I really loved this combo of like the super light minty blue with this gorgeous bright yellow and then just a tiny little pop of a darker blue that I feel like just, I don't know, makes it look a little bit more dimensional. So again, just kind of wiping off all of the polish onto the neck of the bottle, letting that go back into the bottle. And then I'm going to just swipe that onto my nails. And you don't have to worry about making a mess. We're going to clean that up really easily later. And I like to go with a really light hand when I work with that darkest color because I don't want to cover up any of the colors that I've already used. But again, if you mess up, that's totally fine. Just go back in with the lighter colors and fix it right up. So now I'm just going to take some acetone. I have a little cleanup brush and I'm just going to smooth out the design around my nails. And I'm just going to kind of clean clean that up, make it nice and neat looking. And then I'm going to go in with that sinful shine top coat just to complete the manicure and leave it with a nice glossy shine. And that is the full look. I think it looks so cool. You can try this with so many different color combinations and I feel like it always looks really fun. One really cool way to mess with it is to add a black or a white kind of grungy brush stroke on top. And I feel like that totally changes the look. So if that's something that you want to do, go for it. If you have a color combo in mind that you want to see from me, comment it down below. We can play around here. All right, so let's move on to the next design, which is kind of a funky French. Again, I'm going to use these Sinful Colors base coat and then a few matte nail polishes. I'm using this shade State Mint, Dragonfly, and White Lies. And then I'm actually going to be using the matte top coat for this one. So once again, just starting off with my clean natural nail and applying that base coat. And then once that is fully dry, I'm going to go in with a couple of coats of that gorgeous minty color and I absolutely love their matte nail polish line because you totally don't even need a matte top coat, but since I'm doing nail art, I am going to use it. So I'm just gonna take this gorgeous color dragonfly and a tiny little dotting tool. You can also use a DIY dotting tool for this if you wanna use like a pen or a pencil or if you wanna use a little toothpick, whatever works for you. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. And I'm just gonna make basically a line of dots across the edge of my nail. So what we're doing here is kind of like a funky French tip, but instead of a line, it's going to be little dots. So I'm also going to take the white nail polish and I'm going to use the same dotting tool. I just wiped it off and I'm going to create a small row of white dots on top of that red. So they're not going to be touching, but they're just going to be like a little extra row that kind of creates this contrast. So then once that is dry, I'm going to go in with that matte top coat just to seal in the design. And then it does have that gorgeous matte finish that I absolutely love. And I feel like this is just another cool, super easy design.
design that just adds like a level of fun. I don't know why, but this is like reminding me of, you know, like that fringe that has little pom-poms on the end. That's the vibe that I'm getting with these. So I'm totally into it. It feels very summery. I love the color combination with that really vibrant red paired with the mint. Oh, so fun. All right, so moving on to the next design, we're gonna get a little funky with some tie-dye. So again, I'm using the Sinful Colors base coat, the shade Snow Me White, Wonder Mint, and Endless Blue. And then I'm also gonna use the Sinful Shine top coat again. So once more, big surprise, I know, we're gonna go in with a coat of our base coat. And then once that is fully dry, once again, I'm gonna go in with a couple of coats of that white nail polish. That's gonna be my base for this. Again, you can use another color if you want, but I feel like white shows up the best when you're doing this type of design. So I'm just gonna take that minty nail polish and a tiny little nail art brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to draw on a tie-dye effect. Now, I don't want you guys to feel like this is super daunting. I know this is freehand, but I'm telling you, this is possibly the easiest freehand design that you could ever do. And let me tell you why. For starters, you can mess up as much as you want and it looks like it's part of the design because what we're doing is we're creating a tie-dye and tie-dye in itself is very imperfect. So you can kind of mess up, you can make some lines darker than others, you can make it a little bit wiggly. What I'm gonna do is I'm creating this like kind of swirl around my nails. So I'm starting off with that lighter color and I'm just doing these like tiny little brush brush strokey lines. And this is even perfect if you don't have a steady hand, this is totally fine. Like I had a cup of coffee right before I filmed this and my hand was a little shaky and I feel like it still looked really cool because you do not need a steady hand for this type of nail art. This is perfectly imperfect, so embrace it. So I'm just speeding this up a little bit here so you guys can see how I did the design without having to sit through me doing it in real time because it does take a little bit of time. And then I'm gonna go in with this darker blue and I'm gonna basically do the same thing, working in that white space that I didn't use with the lighter color. So what I like to do personally is I feel like it looks cool if you leave a little bit of white space in between the two colors, but really the world is your oyster. It doesn't have to be a particular way. I feel like tie-dye, again, is just however you want it to look. So whatever you feel like looks best, you can even throw in a third or fourth color if you want in here and cover up all the white and then just do whatever color tie-dye you want, but I kind of wanted mine to be like almost like a washed out, I want to say denim looking, but I know denim and tie-dye are very different things. <laughs> but I do love this color combo. I just love these colors together. I think they look so fun. And here you can actually see an example of me doing like different hardness of brush strokes here. So some of them are a little bit darker, some of them are a little bit lighter. And what we're just going to say here is that, you know, the tie-dye hit some spots a little darker than others, and that's just how tie-dye is, right? <laughs> So again, if I made a little bit of a mess with my cuticles, I'm just going to clean that up with a little cleanup brush and some acetone. And then I'm going to finish off by sealing in the design with a nice thick coat of top coat. And that is the final look for this tie dye look. I absolutely love it. I feel like it looks like a little washed out and like soft and springy. I don't know. I'm totally digging this vibe and I know tie dye is really in right now. So it's making me kind of want to wear tie dye. <laughs> All right, so if you guys are feeling a little intimidated by this freehand design, let me show you something super easy that I know anybody can do. We're gonna use base coat. I'm using this gorgeous new shade called Spring Fling, as well as the shade Snow Me White, and then also going in with that Sinful Shine top coat. And I know, again, it's gonna be a big surprise to you guys, but I am gonna start off with my base coat as I normally do. And then once that is dry, I'm going in with a couple of coats of this really gorgeous, it's almost like a grayish color. This is such a vibe right now. I am totally digging this color. I think it looks so beautiful, especially like this time of year. So springy and fun, Ugh, I love it. But anyway, so this design I feel like is actually pretty work appropriate. Maybe it's just because of the base color I chose, but I feel like this is gonna be pretty simple. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking the bottle brush on the white and I'm just going to make one big line down my nails and I'm going to continue that in like almost like a staircase pattern. Basically what I was thinking here is these are kind of like abstract clouds and I don't know, I was just feeling a little cloudy, but I also wanted it to be classy clouds. So this is what I came up with and I actually love it. I was gonna do another layer, but I just love the way it looked so much just as like a little simple cloud. So I ended up keeping it like this and I thought it looked so cute. So this is final design version one. 
and I just love it. I feel like it's very abstract, but if you say like, oh, this is my cloud manicure, then people are totally gonna know that it's clouds. I also wanted to show you guys the variation. I didn't end up filming it because I wasn't sure if I was gonna even like it, but I ended up throwing on a little bit of that really gorgeous minty shade on top as well. And that kind of just creates this like extra level of cloudiness, <laughs> if I may say so. And I think that also looks really cute. So it's up to you if you wanna do one layer, if you wanna keep it simple, or if you want to get a little complex and throw on a second layer just applying it the same way as I did with the white. All right and then last but not least this is kind of a variation on the tie-dye look. I'm gonna use the Sinful Colors base coat and then some more matte shades. I've got White Lies, the shade Perplexed which I'm obsessed with, and the shade Blew Me Away as well as the matte top coat. So once again just starting off with that clean natural nail and I'm gonna apply my base coat and then once that's dry I'm gonna to go in with a couple of coats of that white matte nail polish as my base color. So I feel like this is kind of a mix between tie-dye and that ECAT design that used to be pretty popular. I'm going to start off with this gorgeous purple shade and I'm going to take a tiny little brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating lines again. Same way that I did the tie-dye design where I'm just kind of making imperfect sketchy looking lines and what I'm going to do is I'm actually shaping it in a triangle going down from my cuticle so it's almost kind of like a little V shape on the cuticle, but we're doing it tie-dye style. So just kind of going in however it feels right. If you want to make it a little bit more opaque, you can go over the lines a few times. Totally doesn't have to be perfect. If each nail turns out a little bit different, that is totally fine too. And then next I'm going to take that shade Blew Me Away and I'm also going to use that with a tiny little nail art brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to outline where I did that purple, but again in those same brush strokey kind of lines. So I'm just making another layer of that V shape on top top of the triangle and it basically just I don't know it, it looks kind of like a little bit of a fringe I feel like it's just a cool almost abstract design but in a classy kind of fun way and you can really mix this up however much you want even if you want you can do a little triangle of white in the center or in between the two colors really so many different options that you can go with here and again I'm just gonna finish that off with my matte top coat and then that is gonna dry off to a lovely matte finish and that is the final design. I love the way it looks. I like how each nail is slightly different. I feel like that just gives like a cool different kind of effect. But yeah, that is it. Those are the five designs. I would love to hear from you guys. Which is your favorite? Which one do you like best? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!